it is, what is it? Uh, December 17th, 2018, and it is Monday at 5.55 a.m. Yes, we're off schedule, but that's okay. And as you can see, today is our one-year anniversary. When I went to find artwork uh, for that, to mark that occasion, all I could find was birthday and wedding um, artwork. So happy birthday to us. And later on, we'll be taking a little look at where we started and where we are now. But first, let's go out and find out what's going on out on the internet and what the news is for today. Next, I want to take a show. Oops, this is for later on. Sorry about that. So, from... F hmm. I have my notes messed up. What a great start this morning. Uh, from Sputnik... Um, UN Migration Compact is threat to sovereignty of free member countries. And this was published today. The UN Global Migration Compact will legalize immigration and regularize rapid, unattainable mass migration. Sputnik spoke about this issue with Dr. Wahid Udin, a professor, consultant, and former UN expert, author of books on infrastructure and contributor to books on climate. Sputnik, uh, oh, that's a related article. Dr. Wahid Udin, the migration of people due to non-political and non-ethnic reasons is entirely an issue for the lawmakers and judicial process within ju jurisdictions of each independent country. The UN Migration Pact is infringing on governmental authority of each country according to the country's own constitution and policies. The pact is not going to solve the overwhelming issue of unwanted migration on a mass scale that is caused by poverty and ethnic suppression. These must be addressed by the government of each country itself and the UN should provide expert help to provide guidance based on best practices. <clears throat> I think that makes our point for us. What we've been saying since this GMC Global My Migration Compact was first, uh, we were first made aware of it about a month ago. Um, and people who are protesting uh, in various countries, and those protests keep uh, spreading, that's part of their complaint is that um, the Migration Compact infringes on the will of the people in sovereign nations. In our next story, um, we're not going to, we're going to read part of this article so you'll understand what you see in the video. Video shows accused ISIS supporter bragging of plot to bomb gay bars in UC Berkeley sell poison laced cocaine prosecutors say. And this is by Bradford Betts for Fox News. This is a screen cap of this guy driving this um, uh, Amer... Oh, I had this worked out in my head and now I can't pronounce it. Anyway, this guy, this Amir, or Amer, riding with an FBI uh, undercover agent and this is the U.S. Attorney's Office um, via KQED and KT, T, KTVU, um, and the photo credit is Brooks Jarrows. A Northern California man faces several decades in prison after admitting to selling up to setting up social media accounts 
to support the Islamic State group, prosecutors said. Amir al Haggagi. Uh, Amir, we'll just call him Amir, 23, of Oakland, California, pleaded guilty in, several, in federal court earlier this year to trying to provide material support or resources to a foreign terrorist organization, possession of device-making equipment and identity theft, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office and FBI. A video obtained by the Bay Area's KQED-TV shows a mayor driving around the region with an undercover FBI agent while appearing to brag about his plan to commit terrorism. Quote, I've been so excited about it. I've been hyped up, he said in the video. Uh, Amir allegedly told FBI sources he wanted the terrorist threat in the U.S. to reach a level where every American here thinks twice or three times before leaving his home. It's like like it's necessary for me to leave right like is it necessary for me to leave right now and he was arrested in November 2016 for identity theft but later admitted to creating social media accounts for people he thought were ISIS supporters so this is about a minute maybe less let me start this again and make sure the volume is up because what you're hearing initially is the FBI reporter, but then you'll hear him. I've been so excited about you. I've been hyped up. Like, how I'm seeing it, I'm seeing that we could get away so easily. And I'm like, if you want to like plant a bomb or like walk in to put two places with a bomb, you don't, you don't even have to do it yourself. Like, there's so many homeless people there that would do it for you for like a dollar or something. I could, tell, I could tell them to walk into the YMCA with the bag and they'll do it and we could detonate it from outside. We, I want to make it to the point where every American here like, thinks twice or three times before he leaves his home. Like, is it necessary for me to leave right now? I guess I don't want him to be. President Trump keeps telling us that there are um, ISIS terrorists, MS-13, um, 18th Street uh, gang members, and others from other countries uh, in that caravan and making their way into the United States one way or another. We just had a massive arrest, the other, uh, a report of a massive arrest the other day um, for drug smuggling. A child has died as a result of lack of food and dehydration for over a week. And Nancy Pelosi sits on her throne and says, no, we're not funding the border wall. And that's the end of it, which we have brought to you uh, in other reports earlier uh, last week. So if you add those criminal elements to people like this, who have no loyalty to our government, or our way of life, or our culture, which is a melting pot, but in, um, in uh, days gone by, you had to demonstrate that you really wanted to be an American and be uh, a part of American culture before you were let into this country and granted citizenship. And then again from Fox News, reporter's notebook, D.C. quietly preparing for shutdown lest they desert, disturb the yellies. All right, when I read this headline, I assumed that was a, a Yankee name or a, an Americanized name for yellow jackets. Let's find out if I'm right or not. And you might be forgiven for assuming the same thing. The article is by Chad 
Paragram for Fox News. It was quiet late Friday afternoon on Capitol Hill. Too quiet. Precisely zero TV network cameras jutted out of, out into the narrow Will Rogers corridor near the House chamber. Not a single rec reporter was squeezed between the columns in Statuary Hall, ready to do live shot. Only a lone TV crew was set up in the rotunda of the Russell Senate office building. When one correspondent went on air, the anchor in New York even remarked about how pronounced the echo sounded in the near-abandoned arcade reverberating off the arches above. One wonders if it would be quiet next Friday on Capitol Hill as nine of 15 cabinet departments face a government shutdown at 11.59.59 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. What's surprising about the potential government shutdown crisis is the silence, the dearth of information, the lack of panic and anxiety, and this is a screenshot from that now infamous impromptu uh, press briefing, what it turned out to be, uh, between Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and President Trump. And this is the moment where uh, Chuck Schumer was speaking and the president realized that uh, despite his uh, impromptu invitation to the press for something more than a photo shoot, um, he realized that Chuck Schumer was going to do his level best to um, refute the president's logic. And he's pondering here in this shot, you know, what to do next. Should I let them run their mouths or should I shut the press conference down? And wisely, he let them talk. It's peculiar to have everyone tiptoeing around Capitol Hill with Washington about to lurch into a holiday calamity. Perhaps there is only one logical explanation. Everyone is concerned about disturbing the Yellies. Yellies are a new toy taking Christmas by storm and driving parents to their liquor cabinets. The Yellies are tiny, fuzzy arachnids. If people talk quietly, the Yellies move about slowly. But the louder people are, the faster they go. And as you can imagine, kids love yelling and screaming, sending grown-ups into convulsions as the yellies dart about the house, hitting March 2. Hitting Mach 2, sorry. Uh, that looked so much to me like a date as I'm reading that, uh, anyway, let's move on. This is a kind, this is kind of what's happening on Capitol Hill. Everyone saw the conclave with the President Trump, House Democratic Leader Nancy Pelosi of California, and Senate Democratic Leader Chuck Schumer of New York in the Oval Office on Tuesday last. They understood the volatility of a government shutdown at Christmas time, so everyone is trying to keep quiet, lest they disturb the yellies. There are muted conversations. Not even major exchanges of offers between Capitol Hill and the administration. So everyone is trying to keep quiet lest they disturb the yellies. So kind of an amusing way to start an article, but it's an indicator of the Fox um, direction towards trivial, uh, trivial programming and less towards hard-hitting news. And uh, everything we are presenting today falls, in our opinion, under Title 17, Section 107, the Fair Clause uh, exception for use of others' work for the, for the purpose of information, news, education, and discussion. And so from there, we're going to jump over to Halius Media's website and take a look at where we started and where we are now.
Here is Helios Media site. I, I can't bring you the shots of the original site because we've upgraded our uh, manually system a couple of times and so all we can do is bring it to you in this format but our first post on December 17 2017 was entitled how did we get here and then we quote a scripture Philippians 4 8 finally brothers whatever is true whatever is honorable Whatever is fair, whatever is pure, whatever is acceptable, whatever is commendable, if there is anything of excellence, and if there is anything praiseworthy, keep thinking about these things. And this was our, uh, our, our, our header shot for that day. How did we get here? At some point in life, you look back at what you have believed, valued, and built your life upon and ask, how did I get here? If we are brutally honest with ourselves, we immediately view a montage in our memory of what we thought life could be versus what life really is today. The result is usually dismay and disappointment. Luke 5.32 says, Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, which is a praiseworthy thing to think about, to be sure. It matters less how we got here than what we do about going forward. Take courage, resolve to change our own lives, and treat others with kindness and respect and move forward. And that was our first post for Halius Media when it was still a free WordPress site. And we have certainly moved far along from there. We've gone from written articles on a variety of topics, uh, mostly current news, but we also included occasionally, as we did with this one, some real-life scriptural examples of what we were talking about. So now let's take a look at the front page as it is today. And this will this may be getting some sprucing. Um, the original uh, we didn't even have a logo when we, when we originally started. It was just the Halius Media, uh, the words Halius Media. So here's yesterday's um, here's yesterday's post, and it is the image from yesterday's series on the Christmas tree. And this is talking about our holiday season, our holiday series. And we have created a playlist on YouTube of including the Black Friday preview of our holiday season content. And this article tells about that. And you can click down at the end of all our articles on the front page to read more. This is our YouTube channel. And um, here are the last three uh, broadcasts that we did. But I want to go to the video uh, drill down menu and I want to take you back a few months to when we actually started producing video content. Um, and that was, gosh, in May or I think it was at the end of May or the beginning of June. Uh, here is the first video studio we had. Let's not play the clip. Well, yeah, let's play the clip. So you can see where the dust evolved from, where the intro graphics evolved from. And we used to call it the readout because it was just, you know, daily news. It was no commentary by me. 
Um, it was very bare bones. There's our familiar intro song and intro storyline. And we're going to just jump ahead a little bit. Because this, is, this originally was a two minute almost um, introduction. here in the Midwest. The dog is rustling around in the background because she wants my attention. So why should today be different than any other day? And here we are in Halius Media Studio. I thought you might like to see what I'm actually working with. Um, a few of you who have interacted with Halius Media or John14 on Twitch hear me bemoan the fate of my studio on occasion because it's tiny. Um, you can see the custom desk that we made. Uh, Pyre Media was tapped for his talent and I so appreciate his help. So as you can see, that's a full-size optic mouse, and by comparison, the tablet is tiny. When I tell you that it's a toy, it's really a toy. Um, so underneath the uh, desktop, we have a fellow's slide-out tray, and sort of off to the upper left in the tray, you can see a wireless um, Bluetooth keyboard that I like a lot because it's a real keyboard. The keyboard on the tablet is fine, except that two of the most used punctuation marks are in a weird place and it's very difficult to access them. You to mumble it for a moment. This is our most recent uh, addition to our social media presences. We, you may remember or may not remember that we gave up our membership on Gab quite a few months ago because the anti-Semitic rhetoric on Gab was so bad that, you know, literally I would spend all day blocking people just so I could get good content. Um, in my news feed. And we had, we had uh, more followers on Gab than we did, uh, than we do on Twitter. Twitter is keeping us to right around 148. I never change the, uh, the count because it goes up two, down three, up four, down one, constantly. Uh, down from about 170-ish, maybe 180, up to 186. I'm not, don't remember exactly. At some point last year, but we've been shadow banned for 10 months now, and you know, our reach is not as uh, high as Mumble it, but um, it goes nowhere. Uh, Twitter is completely useless to us except for as a news source occasionally. So uh, this is Mumblet, and this is the um, news feed page, and it gives you uh, a thumbnail sketch of um, our profile. We've earned $5.23, might be $5.25 by the end of the week, uh, for the interaction 
that um, when we post things and interact with Mumblet users, you know, we earn a fraction of something. And you can see our reach uh, is increasingly um, going farther and farther, even though our, um, our followers don't interact a whole lot with us yet. But Nick is working very, very hard um, to improve this site and make it a going concern with all the elements you would expect in a combination of Twitter and Facebook type um, site. You can see here that on the menu side here, uh, profile, you can create an album, you can invite contacts, you can save mumbles, which are these posts, uh, if there's a, you know, a reason you want to save them for some reason, like references or what have you. You can poke people, you can join or create groups, you can create pages, you can blog, you can, this, my articles, I'm not sure what it is because I haven't clicked on it. Maybe it's to save articles, I'm not sure. But by all means, join Mumblet and find out and tell me. Uh, there's a marketplace where you can um, vend products or buy pro or search for products. By all means, stop by there and pick up some Christmas gifts from the Mumblet members who are vendors. And we are not yet, but we will be soon. You can explore. Uh, you can read only popular posts. You can look at events or create them. You can play games, you can um, enter a forum discussion, and you can find friends. And what is trending on Mumblet right now is Trump, First Amendment, uh, real news, Democrats, and women. I don't know why women are trending. All right, and then, so Fred Blanco just posted, someone just honked to get me out of my parking spot faster. So now I have to sit here until both of us are dead. Fred Blanco puts up some pretty good zingers. So that is our um, that is our membership on Mumblet, and they are in probably the next week. They are rolling out live streaming uh, as a as another function, like all these functions on the left. And Nick has asked if I'm interested, and of course I am, because uh, we've been trying to live stream since we started back in uh, June or July with our first actual post being in July. All right, let's go back to our fancy, or minimalist actually, new desk. You've seen us struggle to try and live stream and I think I may have discovered what the problem is, why we can't maintain our live stream. You've seen our desk go through a couple of different evolutions from the tiny little uh, toy tablet that we bought so we could actually type on a keyboard because we started out on the phone to the addition of sticky notes and then the official notepad and then we showed you a screenshot of when we upgraded to a real laptop, which we did after much sweating of the money that would have to be spent to do that. And you've been with us through audio problems, which we are continuing to have, my silly mistakes, and my occasional successes. You've also met the shepherd, my companion and my um, pain in the neck sometimes as she rustle, rustles around in the background. Um, she has been with me a little longer than a year, and we went from a dog who could not walk on a leash, did not know what sit was, did not know what come and wait and stop and all that sort of basic commands 
that you expect out of a dog. Didn't know any of that stuff. And I nearly, I have to tell you, she was, as I've said before, she was a little over four years old when I got her, and she's a little over five now. And I thought I was going to lose my mind trying to train this dog. But, you know, here we are, the beginning of our second winter together, and I can let her off the 50-foot rope and let her wander around, and she will come back to either voice camp command or radio collar beep 90% of the time unless there's another dog around. So that's the next major hurdle for us is to get her to not react to other dogs at all. Um, or if she does eventually make a friend that she um, learn to play nicely because her previous situation, as I've said many times before, she was not socialized and she looks at other dogs as a threat because she was a breeder's producer. The music I chose today was a snippet of Beethoven's Ninth. It was uh, a toss up between the 1812 Overture and the Ninth, and I chose the Ninth in deference to the season. Two of my favorite pieces by probably my favorite composer. And you saw that we changed the introduction. That was only for today. I'll be creating a new introduction. I don't know if we're going to stay with this stark black and white desk, although I have to tell you, it's much easier to work with because of the black bar format of 16 by 9 uh, on YouTube. I'll probably change the outro a little bit as well, and we'll see going forward. So if you would like to see more dog files, or you don't like the content we're covering, or you'd like us to cover something different, please uh, let us know in the comments. If you like our content and want to see more of a particular type of content or a particular episode, please um, give us a thumbs up or a like wherever you find us. And please share our content with your friends and family. So for the me, me and the Shepherd having blown the time limit again, I was trying so hard. We hope you are blessed. We hope you had a terrific weekend and that this week will be a safe and peaceful one as you and your family gather this week. Until we see you again, have a great day.